So on the back of that, then, you obviously helped Empress Jin to a, a $200 million plus exit, which is a fantastic achievement. I'm sure there's, there's lots of people who are listening to this who are kind of aspiring to a similar sort of exit. What trends do you see coming in 2024, 2025 for businesses who are looking to, to exit? And how does brand and website and experience impact on all of that from your perspective? So to be clear, Empress was uh, run by a private equity group who came to us with an acquisition that they made and we created the brand, the strategies, everything, the voice, everything that went into that brand and deployed that. So I hired the sales force and, and all of that. Uh, the goal with Empress, in my view, was, uh, and not just Empress, any brand I touch, it's really understanding what segment of the market we're going after and drive that home. And the part that companies in this space miss very often is that it really starts in the beginning. So oftentimes I'm brought in to fix something that's broken or it's not working properly. And much of that very often has to do with the brand itself and everything that they have done to date. I have four brands in front of me today that have a modicum of success or what the brand owners are translating into as, as we're showing traction. And I, I take one look at it and in order for that brand, in my view, to have that type of a exit thinking realistically it goes back to the brand itself and everything around it and the strategies that have been used to create that brand and how they have deployed it so where so many companies wine and spirits shortcut the process is at the beginning or at the foundational level 